Hey everybody, how we doing today? Beautiful, beautiful day in the Florida Keys. Finally, the two weeks of brutal uh, weather there. Uh, we're kind of getting back to a little bit better pattern here. Uh, still mid 60s today, but full on sun. Uh, the water is going to be kind of recovering. It's milky, but after those 30 and 40 knot winds the last uh, couple of days, it's going to be that ways. But Anyways, everybody's out and about. Got a bunch of tourists in their kayaks there. Got paddle boarders out. Shorts and t-shirt weather. So uh, I figured I'm gonna head out to the reef. So that's the plan. Well, originally I was just gonna go out to the patch reef just outside the flats there, but it was so calm out. So kept coming and coming. So <laughs> I'm back out here at the uh, end of the bar or not end of the bar, out to the bar, the secondary reef. Uh, just dropped anchor here. Uh, hopefully this will spin me around. And then uh, we'll get set up and put the chum out. So there we go. That's kind of what we're looking at. That's the target area that I'm going to be looking to uh, the chum to hit. And the current's flowing that direction. So I think we'll be okay. So let's get started. All right, we are anchored properly. Got a block of chum, fresh. Actually, no, this one's kind of freezer burned. It's been in my freezer for so long. I just haven't been fishing lately. So I got a fresh block of chum going out. That'll also verify the direction that the uh, current is running, which is pretty much where I want it to. So we're good there. And tie that off. And uh, for today, we're going to be using uh, the scraps from that uh, couple of tuna that I had uh, last couple weeks ago. So I got all the bits and pieces, and that's going to be my bait. So that'll do it. Now I like to do is uh, put the chum out and give it 10 or 15 minutes before I start fishing. Uh, so it's a good time for me to start rigging these up. Uh, since I just uh, broke down all these reels, there nothing's rigged up on them. Uh, the ultralight Esky with the old Conflict 4000, I'm gonna set up for just yellow tailing, drifting back the jigs. So I'm gonna change this braid out to my uh, mono, Andy's pink mono put a long a uh, long leader probably 12 or 15 pound of fluorocarbon on that one and then I'll put a yellow tail snapper drift jig on it so that's the first rig I've got my Barbie girl uh, tackle box and then that's where I keep my yellow tail snapper jigs so I think I I don't know the currents kind of rip in we're only in 40 foot so I think I'm just gonna start middle of the boat and just go with uh, one sixteenth ounce and then after one drift and then i'll either go higher or lower just see how it drifts it seems like we have a decent amount of current so we'll have to see that's what we'll start with okay on the uh, cabo 40 or the 4000 series on the esky 12 pound i'm going with the uh i think this is the one ounce i might go down we'll see how to see how the current is with the uh, four inch paddle tail and that's just going to be uh just drop every once in a while throw it in the chum line see if there's anything bigger floating around uh, if I start seeing any bait busting that kind of thing I could throw at it real quickly um, and uh, yeah see what happens here okay for our third rod we've got the Cabo 50 or 5000 series I got that paired up with the uh, 20 pound Esky or the 1520 it's kind of like the medium heavy and for this one, I'm going to set it up as like a bottom rig. Uh, basic uh, fish finder setup, Carolina rig. So I've got a two ounce weight on the main line, swivel, and then probably five foot, a 40 pound mono, and a seven knot circle hook. And I'm just going to put on one of those bait strips, drop it down, keep it off the bottom so it doesn't get snagged, and just sit it out there and see if something comes and grabs it um, those three setups covers my top midwater column and bottom so that's always what I wanted to have available just in case because you never know where the fish are going to be now I could do my kind of a drift test take a couple of pieces of uh, bait there just throw it out there and just kind of watch and see how fast it's taken off how fast it's sinking And that gives me a kind of an idea of uh, how I want to drift my baits back. Uh, something's playing with my bottom rod there. Oh, 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 there we go. Come on up. Uh. 
Swimming around kind of sharky like. Yeah, stupid shark. <sighs> A little bit of excitement. Perfect circle hook set. have that hook. All right, there we go. Fighting all weird like a yellow tail. Yep. Target species, but not on the bottom rig. How did you swallow that big old circle hook? The first drift I did with that 1 16th ended up getting snagged on the bottom, so I'm going to the 1 32nd here. see if that gives us a little better drift back seems like the current has slowed down even more it's taking forever for this chum to start dissipating but let's see if we can catch something here on the drift all right there we go <laughs> there's so much play with the mono line and the eskia light rod <laughs> There's so much flex. Ah, nice yellowtail though. Uh, 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 uh. Don't lose ya. Now ah, you're hooked pretty good. God, Lee, come here. Bam. Nice yellers. That was like the first drift I finally got back. Nice yellow tail there. Pretty nice size. Let me measure them out real quick. We've got 17 inches. Yeah, not bad. Alright, something's whacking this. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, I don't want anything to take my other rod here. Let's see what you are. Feeling kind of sharkish that constant head shake. Uh, maybe not a shark. What is that? Uh, 
a better fighting position here. What is that? Oh, like a rainbow runner or something. Alright. Yellow jack, I mean. Come on this side. Ugh. Ah, big old yellow jack. I am. Nice yellow jack. Nope. Oh. Woo! Big boy yellow jack. Dang. <laughs> Look at that baby. Beautiful yellow jack in the sun. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Ah, well, that was fun. Always got to run that bottom rod. All right, just feeding the line, feeding the line. Just waiting for it to start ripping. Ran a reel. Keep coming, keep coming. There we go. A little bit too much drag here. There we go. Another nice, oh, another nice little snapper. Uh, oh. Now they're starting to eat. There we go. Basically using like the, uh, the strips I cut off for the bloodline from those tunas, but looks like liver, but oily, slimy, smells so good, and those yellowtail snappers are gobbling it up. Chum's finally running. Not getting much bottom action. I am wanting to do a little bit of uh, trolling with the paddle tails. I'm seeing a lot of birds. And all these sports fishers have been running through here all afternoon. I bet you there's a lot of tunas out. Start tightening up there. And there we go. Ugh. Ugh. Swimming towards me. Keep them coming. <coughs> there we go. Little guy. Ah, that is just spraying me. Oh, that came up and hit it quick. There it goes. There you are, my little buddy. That chum is finally starting to go out. I think it was just so freezer burned, it was just one clump, but now it's starting to feed. And that's bringing those yellow tails a lot closer. Yeah, not a bad one. There we go. They're starting to move up close now that the, especially since the chum's finally making a, an appearance. So it's not taking very long at all. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think this one's already on there. Yep, there it goes. I'm hitting it so fast, not even paying attention to it. Uh, there you are, I see ya. Water's pretty nice today. No sharkies, no problems. Oh, oh, oh. Cookie cutter ones. Need some bigger baits. Drop it down farther for bigger ones. Stop. All right, a little better one. bunch of schoolies down there making a mess of everything. Oh, I think I'm getting bit on this one. Oh. Get him up, get him up. Tried to stick me in the rocks there. Ah, oh, a little old remora. Ugh. Stop, remora. Ugh. Stop, remora. Stop. Good old suction head there. <laughs> Let's relax, slimy slug. Ugh. Slimy, slimy. Blah. All right. I'm tired of the yellow tails. I'll put the nether bait on the bottom. I think I'll throw the paddle tail a little bit. And then I might just go off anchor and do some trolling. All right, this is the last yellow tail. I got rid of all that bait, threw it all away so we can do something different here. Because all I am catching is all these yellow tails I don't want. All right, time to use some paddle tails. Well, not a lot of action out there bouncing along the reef line, not seeing any top water action. So I figured I'd call it a day. Uh, it's a bit early, sun's still up, but it'll be nice getting back before dark. So I think I've got a nice clean day tomorrow. Um, so might be looking at doing an offshore run. Uh, now that I know everything works, I've got everything loaded correctly. So that might be a better plan to prepare for. So uh, anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you next video. Bye.